Hello again everyone, Gang is here of course, and today we've got a replay in the 1 to 1. Now this is not my uh, most showcased Vico on the channel, uh, and that's because honestly I don't play it a lot anymore, uh, but it's not because it's a bad tank, and I actually really like it, it's just that I have so many other tanks to play at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's a Chinese uh, tier 10 medium tank, it's one of the more rare uh, tier 10 tanks to see around. Not as rare as, for example, the 113 or the mouse, <laughs> but uh, you don't see that often. Uh, mainly because, I don't know, not a lot of people seem to play Chinese tanks generally. And it's not overpowered, that's, that's a fact. But, oh, what makes this tank? The Alpha is just awesome at 440 for a medium, combined with a very good uh, rate of fire of 6.25, giving a reload of around 8 seconds uh, without. Um, consumables just for the rammer and beer, so uh, that's pretty awesome to be honest. The accuracy and aim time are okay, but a bit underwhelming for uh, tier 10 mediums because they normally have very very high uh, accuracy and very low uh, aim time. And also the standard round is AP and not IPCR. Now this has an advantage because you've got a better normalization. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's uh, basically you're better against uh, angled armor. But on the downside, uh, well, the shells fly a lot slower, or noticeably slower, let's say it that way. Which is a disadvantage when you're sniping at long range, for example. The accuracy is also, yeah, kinda okay, but not that great. So it doesn't really help. It's not a, This tank is really not a long distance engagement tank. However, it still has the same 400 meter view range as most of your 10 tanks. Uh, very good camo, uh, which is kind of surprising. Very good frontal turret armor and actually a pretty good frontal hull. But the biggest disadvantage of this tank is very probably the uh, shitty gun depression. Anyway, we are here on Fjords. We're just waiting for the battle to develop a bit, taking some shots here and there. Uh, I really like this position, it gives control about, uh, about a large area of the map and it allows you to relocate to most areas very quickly if need be. So yeah, we've got a WZ standing in front of us, spotting, so we're able to shoot more or less safely. There are three Artis in the game, so uh, I'm very happy about having a scout in front of me. I'm kind of worried about the development on the 9 line up there. Uh, it could go both ways, but there are a lot of good players there, while our players are a bit meh. So uh, I would give them the advantage, even though we have better tanks. Get a nice shot into the 3090, but I expect to be spotted and go back immediately. And oh shit, there's an e uh, I7 behind us. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of forced to fall back here. Uh, going backwards, just I want to get the building between me and him as fast as I can. And our WZ-122 decides to rush him. And our mediums, which were before on the other flank, on the heavy corner for some reason, also come back. I try and get lucky penetration on the upper plate there, uh, as I didn't really have a shot on anything else. And well, it bounced. Enemy armor is hit. The next shot, uh, yeah, it's a nice 400 damage and tracks him, which ends up in him getting killed very quickly indeed. Uh, anyway, on the other flank, the heavy corner is looking okay ish as one of our, e or our E75 over there is stock too. And the E100 has already lost a lot of HP, but it's still an E100. So, what I'm gonna do is just go up here and try and support them by sniping down. Uh, as I said, it's not the best tank for sniping at all, but better a decent tank than a no tank, I guess. Enemy armor a nice shot down to the Gonqueror, actually tracking him. Keep an eye around me, I don't want to get spotted <laughs> right now. Like, not at all. Enemy I managed to take out the Gonqueror with another shot inside, uh, which is very, very weak armor. So yeah, the E100 is all down. Down, down. Trying to go for the E5 turret there, I should penetrate it most of the time, but I bounce, I guess, so yeah. Should probably load heat right now, because of the distance and, yeah, mainly because of the distance, really. See this E75, I decide to take a shot at his turret side before falling back, as he spots me, and I do not want to get shot at by the guys I was, I was shooting at not long ago. Now suddenly we get gapped, so I take one more snapshot on the E75, which gets in very luckily, and uh, I go back to base. And hopefully even save our art. 
try and get lucky again though, but did not really expect that one to penetrate. Now I'm a bit worried right now. I've got a T54 on my flank, Type 61 in front of me, and a T62A also in front of me. So I get a shot into him, he gets a shot into me. Uh, however, the T92 managed to take out the T54, so that's great because he was also the best player of those who were pushing here. 62A misses me, I try and get a quarter shot on the type and get it. Uh, allowing me to reset the cap, and now I know I don't have to worry about the cap for a long time, especially if he's a one shot. So the G6A gets tracked there, and I decide to take the opportunity. Uh, because if he's tracked, he's not going to be able to uh, keep falling back, so I can only see his turret. So I'll just eat a shot and take him out of the game. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I have no idea what that sound was, sorry for that, guys. But uh, yeah, managed to take out the Type 61, and oh wow, and I have to turn around again, the E75 are pushing through apparently. I've now only got 800 HP left, so that means I can take one shot, not more. But uh, well, one shot is still one shot, right? Fires pushing there. I thought I would get spotted, and so I fell back, but then I noticed I didn't. Went forward, put a shot into his turret side, and the T92 takes him out. And I didn't even get spotted when I shot, so that's really positive. If I'm not wrong, I remembered the enemy 75, or well, I remembered. XVM told me the enemy 75 was low life, so I decided to move up because the rock I was at at the beginning in that push, as I said, it really controls a large area of the map and allows me to relocate to a lot of positions quickly. So I just want to go there and dominate the map. Especially as uh, the rock here also gives me auto cover if I fall back behind it. And as I don't see the 75, I'll just decide to keep going here. RWZ managed to take out one of the enemy RTs, but uh, the G92 takes out the 100 who was coming with him. And yeah, wow, okay, the E75 fell uh, back all the way to base. So, kind of a misplay from the e uh, enemy E75 there. I think if they would have stayed together, they would have had a much better chance of winning this game. But uh, they decide to split off, one of them pushing the other one falling back. And I just decide to go Yoda mode, even though I know it's a bit of a mistake. Get a nice chunk to his lower plate, but he tracks me and takes out my driver. Now I do reload fast, uh, much faster than he does. But I get a very unlucky uh, critical hit there. So I decide to drop down. Now he reloads before I reload. But he's going to be overestimating my reload. He just got shot at for 440 alpha. He's going to be thinking that... Uh, he's got more or less the same reload as I do. So what he's doing right now is he's thinking I'm reloading, he wants to kill me before I reload. And that's a mistake because now I have his lower plate from below and there's basically no chance of me bouncing there. RT misses me for a change. Allowing me to take it out. Which is only the batched RT in the game against us. So yeah, let's speed it up. Blah blah blah. Our oh, Archie misses him. And he gets taken out. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, short video. Well not that short really, but... Um, no, it was not like the best game ever, but I liked it and I wanted to show it to you just to show you how I relocated, kept map awareness, which is basically the most important thing in the game. Keep looking around you, look for opportunities. And uh, also to show you some different tanks and the 62A, Jack Manson 2 and E50M. A little bit. As I say, I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, please remember to comment, like, subscribe, share, whatever. I'm not going to show you the post-game stats on this one because it's nothing really worth showing. Um, so, uh, yeah, see you tomorrow, hopefully. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Gangs it.